I'm not sure who had this for their bingo card of things you wouldn't expect to exist, but there are sky spiders. There's a lesser known ability of spiders, and usually when they are spiderlings, is to travel hundreds of kilometers by flying on air currents and electric currents, and sometimes just thermal heat waves on those pesky windless days. Rain or shine, the spiders will take to the skies to travel. Sometimes they do this just to get around the corner, while other times they go across oceans. Weather balloons have had spiders land on them up to five kilometers high, and sailors have found spiders in their sails as far as 1,600 kilometers out in sea. The technology is called ballooning, and sometimes kiting. Spiderlings will find the highest place they can, raise their abdomens up in what's called the tiptoeing position, and release very fine silk called gossamer into the air. They can get lift off either through wind, electric fields, or heat. Now, depending on what their goal is, they can make parachutes by firing off several strands in a triangular shape, catching any updrifts or those gnarly electric waves. Mainly, this is seen in spiderlings, but some species of adults do do this as well. The biggest issue the adults face, other than their weight possibly limiting their travel ability, is birds and other predators eating them. Starvation is not an issue since they can spend up to a month flying in the atmosphere in search of islands or mountains to land in. This method is pretty much how they've been able to travel around the world. Since about 140 million years ago, they predict, in what would be the Cretaceous period, caterpillars actually balloon as well. So even before they are butterflies, they can fly. Many ballooning spiders have developed water-resistant legs, allowing them to literally parasail on the surface of water by adjusting their legs and abdomen to glide across waves. Considering there are at least a quadrillion spiders in the world, in total there are probably hundreds of millions to billions of spiders in the air at, in at any given time around the world. There was a case in Australia of a mass migration of spiders in 2012, and where they landed, they left an entire blanket of silk on the ground. This was something apparently observed even in Aristotle's time, and probably helped give way to the idea that spiders are interdimensional travelers. I think this adds another bit of credence to the idea that a sky ecology could exist. There is already a sky microbiome, the importance of which is still being studied, like many other systems whose health rely on the microbial. These are usually called aeroplankton, and they are made up of many fungal spores, algae, viruses, bacteria, seeds, proteins, pollen, moss, and liverworts. I think lending credibility that large sky beasts would have plenty of food to consume if they do exist. I made a video on the possible sky ecology, which I'll link in the description if you're interested. But yeah, sky spiders are a thing, so the next time you kill a spider arbitrarily, just know you might be angering the spider goddess who will send the swarms to cover your house in millions of strands of silk to eat you alive for their spider rituals. Thanks for watching.